Okay, you've uh, managed to get your hood open and now you're standing here outside your car uh, wondering where in the hell do I check my oil at or check my transmission fluid or check my coolant or my washer fluid or anything else that's underneath the hood of this damn thing. I don't know where it's at. I need to know how to check it. Okay, we're going to show you how to do that really quick. Your engine oil is uh, almost always going to have a yellow dipstick uh, handle. Uh, most of the time it'll be right here on the top of the engine on some vehicles It can be down here on the side even in the back right here, but your engine oil is always going to have a yellow handle Now this could get confusing because some vehicles have a yellow dipstick for the transmission fluid But as you can see they're labeled trans if it isn't labeled trans It is going to be the engine oil. So let's go ahead and pull this guy out You're gonna want to wipe it off really quick so you can get an accurate reading the next time you pull it out. Let's put that back in there. Okay, let's check this. You always want to check your engine oil with the engine off. As you can see right there, the fluid level right here is just below this hole. So it's still in this little crosshatch area. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. The crosshatch area. The oil is still inside that, so that means the oil level is good to go. You don't have to do anything with it. Now, if it was below, let's uh, get this cleaned off. If it was below the crosshatch area, like down in here, you're going to have to add some oil. But as long as you're in between this hole and this hole, you're good to go. Okay, if you needed to add oil, let's go ahead and pull this cap off. Most of these caps are all the same. They all twist on, twist off. Very easy to do. Transmission fluid. This guy right here, the one that's labeled transmission fluid, or it will have a black or a red cap. You go ahead and pull this out and check it, but your engine is going to have to be started. Uh, engine's going to need to be running, and the transmission is going to be in neutral. Preferably with the engine hot. That means uh, you've been running the car for a while. And basically, these are the same thing. If your engine's hot, you know, or up to operating temperature, which means you've been driving around town for a while, it's going to be in this area right here. If it's colder, it's probably going to be a little lower right here. But it's best to drive around for a while, get your engine warm, and um, you pull it out and check it and see if it's in this area. Now, if it's in this area, you don't need to add anything. If it's lower than that, I would definitely recommend taking it to an actual mechanic and seeing if they recommend adding oil because sometimes if the engine temperature isn't correct it will show a little low so if it's low I would take it to somebody um, okay now if the fluid is black you're definitely gonna need to take it to somebody uh, to get that transmission serviced this one was still uh, kind of red yeah, it's still got a little bit of red tint to it, so this one's good. But if that transmission fluid is dark at all, um, you're going to want to get it serviced. Okay, um, your power steer, or uh, um, excuse me, this is your brake fluid. This you normally shouldn't have to mess with unless you have a light on in the car. Uh, windshield washer fluid is always going to have this cap on it. It has a little mini windshield right here with the little squirty signs. That one, easy enough. If you don't see any... Uh, water level right here top it off coolant level almost always going to have a cap like this almost always see the warning on there and basically that's just saying when your engine is hot if you've been driving your car around town you do not remove this all you want to do is just check the site on the side of the bottle and this one says cold fill you want to look at this uh, before you've been driving around in the morning and um, you know, basically before you've started your car. Just check and make sure that your level is right here at the cold fill line. It'll be good. If it's lower and you haven't driven your car, you can go ahead and pull this off, add some fluid to it. I recommend either bottled water or uh, actual coolant. If you have either one, it'll be fine. Don't use non-bottled water because it can mess up your cleaning system. And that is about it today on your fluids. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else. Let me know how I'm doing. Smash the like button and you'll have a good day.